but welcome, everybody. Uh, and we're just going to get right back into it. So this is uh, the Christmas edition of Super Mario World. Um, right at the end of the day yesterday, we finally beat King Ice Spiny, which admittedly took us quite a few tries. Um, but I think we're kind of nearing the end, so we'll jump in here. We'll see what kind of alternate paths we can find and uh, stay warm. So right away I'm uh, excited by the music that's playing again. Good music in this game. Uh, and a tree that we cannot get past unless we jump over it. Okay, that's fine. Some more of these penguins that are likely to just launch me right into a hole. It should be less fine. Wouldn't be a big fan of that. We piled up quite a few extra lives last time, which is good. Hitting ourselves with a shell less good. <laughs> so how's everyone doing this afternoon? Like I said, very chilly, very snowy around these parts. I do see that dragon coin down there, which I do want to go get, because I'm stubborn. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> So far, this level just has us scaling all these trees. Which is not presenting that much of a problem to us. I did see that dragon coin way up there. I think we're expected to... jump off of that penguin. But you know what? That seems too difficult, so we're just going to move right on. We have a healthy stock of lives anyway. We don't really need those dragon coins. Yet here I am tempted again to go for one, even if I haven't gotten the others. Okay, talk myself out of it. You don't need that. Get over that tall tree. Try not to fall into any pits. That's cute, the little end tape is between two more trees. That one didn't have that much going on other than the trees themselves. Which basically just involved jumping, so. But we climbed the trees. I guess it did live up to its name. Alright, where are we going now? To sumo time. That looks like it might be the end castle up there already. We're much closer to finishing than I thought. Take that extra fire flower. This is why it's named Sumo Time. We got some Sumo Bros hanging around. Just watch out for their fire. Sneak that dragon coin out from right underneath them. Definitely didn't see that Monty Mole down there. Risky, risky. I don't know why I'm risking it, but we are. Wait for that fire to pass before taking off. Uh-oh. That was almost really rough. Not a good trade. Not happy with that trade. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to kill that Monty Mole if I wanted to get that last dragon coin, but, uh... Oh well. And that bonus game again, though, will rack up some more extra lives. There we go. Like after playing enough Super Mario World, you just know where to hit the blocks. And then it's just a matter of jumping at the right time. OK. 
Okay. To Victory Road. We might go back and find some of those other exits uh, before we tackle the last level. This is... This is a, this is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, ice physics, you got an auto-scroller. Victory Road. This is more like Nightmare Road. What are we doing here? Okay. Just get ahead of it. There we go. I would like that. Thank you. That was really close. Easy come, easy go, right? I don't know if it's just me or if the ice physics are more icy in this level than other levels. Stay ahead of everything still. Watch out for another charge and chuck, maybe. Oh gosh, frame rate. Okay. Oh no, okay, there's another charge and chuck. Okay. A lot happening here. We gotta focus. Could really use that. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't get hit there. I do know how we got hit there, though. These charging chucks that are just immune to all the fire coming at them. Don't touch the blocks either. Okay, we got this. We know there's no charge in Chucks until that first question mark block shows up. So we focus on getting that, and we stay out of trouble. And then we get ready, because right after this one, we got that sneaky guy. Use this as an opportunity to get rid of him, because he's still going to come at us, I think. Yep. I was so distracted by the previous one that I forgot the other one was coming. Okay. Keep moving. He can't fit through there, right? He totally can. Oh, hey. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. We're, uh, we're just gaming over here. We're just <laughs> waiting all these charging chucks. Okay. It's just like a nightmare situation for us to be in, but we got out of it. Nothing was calm or relaxing about Victory Road. But it was short, which was good. All right, uh, before we go through the front door, let's go back and clean up some of the other levels we haven't seen yet. And then we'll uh, go ahead and stop the Ice Princess from stealing all those presents. But she can wait just a little bit because I see at least four levels over here that we haven't been to yet. So we're going to go do some, oh, some minecart racing. It's a little bit like Donkey Kong Country over here. We'll see what it's like. Do not touch these crystals, they will hurt you. Make sure that you don't touch a wall. Just good life advice in general. <laughs> Apparently that's a crystal. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. They're very well hidden. I'm not actually controlling this beyond just mashing B, so... This really is like a Donkey Kong Country minecart level. And I can't turn around. Okay, so we'll just miss that dragon coin, but that's fine. You go off the charging chuck onto the platform. We might be here for a bit. <laughs> Alright, we know not to touch the walls. We know not to touch 
the very well hidden crystals while we ride our minecart which can we get a replay on that one less crocodiles more crystals in this skull minecart that we're riding in okay We would have had to jump off that Koopa, I'm guessing, to get to that Dragon Coin, but uh, at the way, you know, rate we're going, oh my gosh. At the rate we're going, we're just focusing on getting on top of that Charging Chuck. And then not dying right after, comedically. We'll see. We got 20 lives to do it. The timing is just so tight. There's a little bit of momentum too. I like that sprite of Mario when he's going up the uh If anybody knows what to do here, just go ahead and let me know. Because we hit that charging chuck. I I wasn't holding B though, so maybe it's even more challenging than I thought. I forgot about the crystals. I was so focused on the charging chuck, I forgot about those crystals again. Okay. This is what? Six try, maybe? We'll get this. Pay attention to that Mario sprite when we're going up the hill, though. It's definitely a fun custom sprite. He's <laughs> got like crooked eyes. Okay. That's what we wanted. I don't know if I trust that ice. Certainly don't trust anything anymore. We did it. Celebratory sip of tea. Stay warm. Let's, uh, let's hope we don't have to see that minecart again. But we've ridden the minecart all the way to the destroyed village. <laughs> this is very cheery music for a destroyed village. It's some snowmen. The snowmen, I wonder if like the story here is that they destroyed the village? These sentient snowmen. You gotta watch out for the uh, the snowballs that blend into the background here. It's a fun little color swap. Hitboxes, snowballs, both are problems for us right now. In this auto scroller, our little trip through to the, the destroyed village. Uh, we've contributed to the destruction of the village there by hitting some block. Okay, we'll just stay down here. We don't need to monkey around up there with that plant. We're we'll gonna go down again. Watch out for falling platforms. More snowballs. Just try to stay ahead of everything again. Okay, making good progress. It's alright, we knew that was going to happen as soon as I felt confident about what we were doing, but we do have a checkpoint, which is good. And another charge and chuck hanging out with us. Oh man, this is just... Got some like NES style slowdown and sprite flickering going on in this village. I see those snowballs up there. And those snowballs. And these snowballs. <laughs> and that one. Okay. Dangerous snowmen. Can 
Maybe the backstory is that the evil ice princess stole all the presents from this village and then left it in ruin for the snowmen to inhabit. Oh, here we go, the Red Switch Palace. Okay. Yeah, you'd have you'd be rich for all those destroyed villages. <laughs> the Ice Princess. Just get some coins here. I'd like to get another extra life. There we go. Back up to 20. It's good that's actually better than when we started. Okay. I have no idea what this actually does for us, other than the obvious, put, turning the blocks, the red blocks, into actual blocks, but I don't know where to go to actually make use of it, so we'll see. Continue and save. Yeah, so we're not going that way, but there is a level back earlier that had a secret exit that we did not find, and it's this one in the ancient temple. <clears throat> there was a keyhole right at the end. We did not find a key. I remember this from yesterday. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find that key. You gotta watch out for... Those falling spikes. That's right, so it's probably behind some of these blocks that you can destroy. Who knew? Who knew the ancient temple would crumble from beneath my feet? That's alright. We'll get this. Well, I had to check, right? I had to check if it would be down there. Okay. Just, like, thrust ourselves into each of these walls looking for... A secret, such as that one. So now we have to carry the key all the way towards the exit. Which hopefully we'll be able to uh, accomplish. Except for bonking my head up there. Oh my goodness. Ice physics. Getting the best of me yet again. It's not clear to me still what those snowballs actually do to me. But that's okay. Just get rid of him. We did it! Took the key all the way to the secret exit. We'll see where we go. Over to Midnight Walk, my favorite time of the day to be walking. <laughs> Midnight. Okay, we got more of those snowmen. We'll absolutely take this mushroom. Because we know our midnight walk is not going to be without its own frustrations there. It's the snowballs. It's the snowballs every time. Okay. Just take our time there. Enjoy the, enjoy the stars that are twinkling behind us, the freshly fallen snow. Just on a peaceful nighttime stroll. That's fine. Just damage boost your way through that.
got a little greedy there. I thought I could get him before he stomped, but uh, that's all right. Okay, I'd like to not get pushed off the edge by this thing. There we go. I think I needed to save that mole for that um, dragon coin. Okay, we'll just take it slow for a moment. Don't want to get the dragon coin anymore because I missed one earlier. Oh man, my midnight walk was almost over. I saw it, but not quite because we're going again. Okay, gotta wait for him. It's not worth it. close. I'll just use this to jump over again. Snake a few extra coins. Almost at another extra life. Okay. Just think about it for a second. There we are. Okay. Much better that time, much cleaner. Ninety-nine coins again. We're gonna get that extra life. But where did we go on our midnight walk? We walked all the way to the secret fortress. Okay, so that's how we get to the fortress. We stumbled across it while walking. Okay, more ice physics inside the fortress. Great. And a cape. That's good. That means we'll actually get some some air control here. All right. <laughs> I got in my own head on that one. Whoopsies. All right. Secret fortress. Your secrets will be known to me. Assuming I don't fall in another pit. It's good though. As long as we don't uh, catastrophically mess up, we should be able to get that cape every time. Which will really help us here. Very slippery. Well, good news is we're alive. Barely. Okay, you can just go ahead and leave. Nope, okay. Don't jump all the way. Jump part of the way. <laughs> okay, well, we did, unfortunately, <laughs> lose our mushroom, so we can't get a cape out of there. That's all right, though. I think I've been making this more hard than it actually is. Slippery, slippery nonsense. So slippery. Okay. You just gotta focus. Okay. Get that first part down pretty well. Really missed the cape already. Okay, so if we don't move, we don't slip. It's as easy as that. I'm not sure yet how to not get hit by that thwomp. I would really like to be Big Mario at this point, but you know, we'll work with it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, all right. So far, so good. We're alive. Jamming out to this very intense music. Oh no. Didn't feel good. Didn't feel good when I landed on that block. Didn't feel good when I went right in the hole. Okay. If we can somehow keep Big Mario past this part coming up, that would be spectacular. I would be very excited about that. So this one we can just bait down. This one... is too quick for us. Okay. Shake it out. Do one of these. Wish Mario would have worn some cleats or something. It would have really helped, but uh, work with what we got here. Okay, that first part is no problem for us anymore. This is the most problematic part, for sure. Just, I just want to stop moving when I get on that platform. That's all. That's all I want. It's just to not slip. Okay. It's glad we amassed all of these extra lives so we can start uh, really just butting our heads against this stage for a bit. Okay, we know we're going to slip. We're going to slip again. That's fine. Just take that hit. We'll wait for a little bit there. Okay. Checkpoint. That's incredible. That is exactly what we want. No secrets over there. All right, we got. Oh my God! Okay. All right. What are we doing here? It's hoping we could like juggle ourselves on top of him, but it doesn't seem like we can do that. Okay, we got him. Whatever that Lakitu is doing, he's not doing it anymore, so that'll teach him to get in our way. I, and he really wasn't doing anything, honestly. That'll teach him not to do anything. <laughs> okay, Merry Xmas. Switch check. We made our way to some like secret levels over here, it's very exciting. Only the power of the four switches lets you pass this level. If you didn't activate all of them yet, leave this level by going left. The walk of shame. I don't think we got all the switches yet, because we clearly didn't get the yellow one. We got the blue one, and we got the red one. Did we get a green one? Somebody with better memory than me that also happened to watch yesterday could tell me. Alright, let's go back, see what we can find earlier. Okay, so this is where the blue switch was, and we actually never finished that first castle because we just went right around it. But if we go even further back... Are we missing anything? Aha! This stage, the Frozen Crystal Cave, to me looks like it has another exit. So, let's go see if we can't find it. I'm a big fan of the uh, the Koopas wearing the parkas. Staying warm. It's important to stay warm. Dress appropriately. <laughs> Don't want these Koopas getting frostbite in this cave. Okay. Got some more ice to deal with. I do see that. Yep. Ooh, we'll skip that one. That was close. Okay, checkpoint. 
don't remember seeing a key anywhere in this level. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Absolutely, I'll take that one up after that previous level that we were stuck in. Suddenly one-ups have become much more valuable. Okay, we're still exploring. Hanging out in the ice cave, seeing what we can find, seeing what kind of trouble we can cause. I thought there was an enemy here last time I played, but I don't... Either I don't remember correctly, or he just didn't show up this time. Any keys around here hiding? Keys? It's very tricky, he came back. Hmm. Anybody see any suspicious things in there? Because I don't know if I did. But we know that there's another exit in there somewhere. Alright, time to put our thinking hats on here. Or maybe just like a pair of earmuffs. I mean, really, everyone else is stressed for the weather. Mario's out here. It's gonna get really chilly. Okay, so I thought maybe that platform would come down and we could get up, but it uh, doesn't look like it. It's a very well-hidden key. Ooh, can we... Hmm... We did it. We found it. It was over the pipe. We got the three up moon in the yellow switch palace. Fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Well, uh, keep an eye out. I'll be here for a bit still, so. We've probably gotten. Honestly, it's not even snowing here anymore now that I look at it, but it'll pick back up, I think. We haven't gotten a ton of snow yet. Went out this morning to get groceries, like everyone else, for the holidays. Trying to get out there before the snow really gets bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take it easy, we'll see ya. Okay, so didn't unlock any other secret levels for us, but at least we got the yellow switch palace. So I think we should go finish this castle, just to say that we've done it. Because uh, Boom Boom's hanging out here, and you know, we can't have him just hanging around. for fireballs. I see him jump over that. That was pretty impressive. Yikes. Okay. We gotta get used to the, uh, the slipping again. Is there a snowball? Did he throw a snowball at me? That SOB. What's he thinking? Gosh. Okay. Just scoot our way through here. This part's no problem. I almost made it a problem. There we go. Now we don't have to deal with him and his snowballs, which is fantastic. He spun around. That's tricky. Okay. 
These castles have definitely given us the hardest challenges so far in this game. That's okay. We'll make it through. Or literally die trying. Yeah, okay, so he really can just like turn around mid throw, which is a pretty rude move. There we go, we'll just time it better. Okay. Good, get a feather. Big fan. And we'll try our best not to lose it immediately. Oh my gosh, these snowballs, just a nightmare. So I say to that. <laughs> if we had a fire flower, we'd be in business. I feel like they gave us the cape to make this level a little more challenging, for sure. So we have no real use for the our cape's ability to fly. So far, floating hasn't really been much of a help either. Now we're in hard mode already here. Oh no, mushroom, wrong way. Okay, we gotta stay focused. We know Snowmageddon's coming up here. Made it through, got to a checkpoint. We'll go through this door and we'll see what Boo Boom has in store for us. We got ice physics, we got a penguin hanging out. Otherwise, not a whole lot. It takes more than three hits, though. Okay. Five hits. We'll get the orb. That penguin's just going to keep uh, <laughs> ramming into our butt there. Thank you. Boom Boom from Castle Number One is now just a memory. Mario is making progress on his adventure, but the final castle is still very far away. It's so far. Also, I still just can't help but feel like we showed up to Boom Boom's house and just destroyed it. Maybe we're the ones that destroyed the village earlier. Are we still in the presence? The shocking twist. Okay. So we still haven't found the green switch palace. He says confidently. But I don't see any other levels that have a, uh, a secret exit to them. There's only three. Let's go back to that level in the Star World, Star Road, Special Zone, whatever we want to call it. And we'll see. Yeah, it refers to four. <laughs> it said four. I decided to check anyway, and it was definitely only three, so I'm glad we checked. Unless there's a fourth coming up. Merry Christmas! This is the level, you guys. This is the level that everything we've been waiting for. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Thank you. Nothing says Christmas like dropping frames. Okay, enough of that. 
Thank you for playing. Play. Thank you for believing in Santa. Mary. Mary what? What are we getting? Mary Hanukkah? No, nope, it's Christmas. Just getting some coins. We did it. The presents. I thought maybe we could fly over the exit. We've got nine extra lives there. That's incredible. Well, we'll see if this takes us out right to, to the, the last level here. It does, but it takes us to the back door, so let's go through the back door. Okay. Got some Mecha Koopas in this ice castle, some ninjis. That was an incredibly high jump by that ninji. Womp womp. I'm gonna go to Victory Road here and grab a mushroom. No, I'm not. That's a dumb level to do it in. I would rather go to sumo time and grab a mushroom. That's the smart choice. Let's go grab another mushroom. Which I think is a fire flower. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Coming in the back door again. Made myself laugh, <laughs> not intentionally. Uh, okay, there's a switch that'll help us, give us a little bit of light. Um, also, drops the frame rate though, my goodness. Okay. Let's see a whole bunch of ninjas. Do you believe in Santa? I do. Uh, it doesn't actually matter, though. <laughs> I will freeze you to death. You will never win. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's super rude. Uh, that's um, the Undine sprite from... Uh... Let me just hit this. Oh, there's a door there, okay. From um, Secret of Mana. Okay. Okay, so the wave just pushes me right into the spikes. And she shoots ice chunks. That's great. It's good to know. But we do get two mushrooms in here, I'm pretty sure. Get that one and we get this one, which is good. Okay. Let's not get shot by our ice block right away. There we go. Okay, she shoots two of them. It's good to know. She's gonna shoot a third? Great. Oh. Okay, so we gotta throw her ice blocks back at her. How do we know? Which ones are gonna stick around and hang out with us? Okay, that's how we do it. We have to get her to hit her own wave. 
That's a bad spot to be in. I thought for sure I was dead there. We're still kicking, barely. Love it. Okay. Another bad spot to be in. Ooh, didn't like it. I knew it. I knew it was coming. My sweet icy death. Okay. Get our mushroom. Get our second mushroom. Okay. Watch out for our ice block. Oh, come on. Come on, Wave. Why are you moving so slow? There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Minus the getting hit part. that. That one is my fault. I was on the wrong side of the um, wave. There we go. Oh no! I missed! <laughs> they don't give me another chance. I wonder if she only has three hits. You guys see that? You see how it got rid of the uh, wave and didn't stick around? Gonna call foul on that one. Okay. More than three hits. Wave is moving really fast now. Four hits. She's moving really fast. The wave is really cruising now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dang. Okay. If we don't get hit early, we'll get that those extra hits at the end for when things get super chaotic. Mushroom, mushroom, icy death. Okay. She's going to spit an ice chunk at us that we can't do anything about. Questionable. Not that one. That one wasn't questionable. That one was definitely me being in a bad spot. Come on. Come on. Throw your ice chunk at me. I know you want to. That's not the move I want you to do at all. You replay on that one, please. Ugh. Always be jumping. Good. <laughs> Just stalemate here. Oh my goodness, come on. I feel like this wave is going very fast to the point where it's really hard to have her hit it. It's just like on top of me. Okay. 
Maybe we gotta hit the wave before it starts going too fast. Because it was going very fast. Yeah, this first wave, very slow. We know we need to hit her at least five times. Okay, that could be our strategy. Wait for her to fire something, and then throw the ice block at her. Because she stops. That's enough of this. I would like the ice chunks, please. Not the attack I want. That's the attack I want. There we go. I tell ya, sometimes I make a mistake, you know? <laughs> what can I say? We're falling apart, we're losing it. everyone's having a great afternoon. Happy shortest day of the year, by the way, everybody. That's, I don't know why I got so aggressive, but yeah, days are getting longer from here on out, which is just fantastic. There we go. Okay, two more hits, I think. She didn't do anything on that one. Yes, yeah, so we got this like lightning quick wave again here. Which is uh, not my favorite to deal with, believe it or not. Waves get fast, and we just gotta figure out how to manipulate them. It's good, we have 25 more tries. We still got a little bit of tea left to keep us going. And everybody watching, appreciate your patience. We continue to throw ourselves against this evil ice princess. That was on the wrong side of the wave that time, for sure. There we go. Didn't listen to my own advice of waiting for her to stop. So... That one's on me. Okay. Nothing again on that attack. That's very strange that happens sometimes, but whatever. Ice spikes. Not crazy about those. That's what I want to see, but in a more convenient place would be better. There we go. Okay. Let's not fly off the side. That was a good one. Okay. Hmm. That's not the attack I want to see. That's the attack I want to see. Oh my gosh, then we hit her. I thought that was five. Did I miscount? Or does <laughs> she have more than five hits? Six. 
We sit. We did it. I think we saved Christmas. We're gonna get to see Santa Claus. <laughs> no, just Princess Peach. Mario has finally defeated Undyne. Now Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Yoshi, and the princess and their friends can celebrate Christmas. We did it. We can all celebrate Christmas together. Well, if you caught the other uh, the other winter themed hacks from earlier yesterday, I would say this one is definitely the most put together. It's also probably the most challenging. I think it had the most creative boss fights, even the even the last one. Despite the wave coming back and forth really fast and being a little bit frustrating, uh, you could figure out the pattern and uh, save Christmas. I liked the secret exits. That was fun. Hitting the switch palaces, uh, a little mysterious. Uh, that that sign mentioned there were four switches and we only saw three and only needed three. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to me for playing this. Some honest feedback would be nice. Start with, uh, where's that for Switch Palace? But otherwise, yeah, compared to the other Christmas-themed ones, I think um, this one's pretty good. I liked it. Merry Christmas. No mention of where these Yoshis came from. <laughs> now we're just getting the normal credits <laughs> with the snow on them. I'll let it go for a little bit. I remember how excited I was when I was a kid to see the ending of this game. I must have been just a handful of years old. And seeing the credits for the first time felt really exciting. Um, I remember I used to, this was like before I was too, or I was old enough to actually play games. Like the hand-eye coordination wasn't there. I tried, um, but I used to get my parents help all the time and they never really played games at all, but they wanted to make me happy. so. And we'd go to bed at night and say, I would like to play the next level after this castle or whatever we got stuck on. Um, so I would demand that they beat it, and they would stay up late trying to beat a castle so I could get to the next level and see what was coming up. So that was really nice of them. With their help, I got to see the entirety of Super Mario World pretty early on in my childhood. <laughs> We're even getting enemies that we didn't see in this ROM hack. The Thwomp and the Thwimp. We did see those, and the Hothead. Definitely didn't see Reznor. And Bowser wasn't even around. He wasn't even causing trouble this time around. It was definitely just the Ice Princess. Just for good measure, though. All right. Well, I think that might be the end of it. Christmas is saved. Nice job. Nice job, everybody.